Well, a few weeks ago, it looked like Eli Manning would not be the Giants starter next year, but now they've won four of their last five games. Eli will be 38 years old next month, but SNY reports it is, quote, looking more and more likely every week that Eli will be the starter next season. Shannon, are you surprised by this news? Uh, I am, Skip, because, and, but this is what happens when your quarterback plays good uh, down the stretch. We saw Jacksonville, they ignored all the warning signs of what transpired in its previous years and just looked at the last three games. Now, the Giants are doing the exact same thing. They're looking at the last four games when they beat a bad Bears team without, without uh, Trubisky. They did. They beat a Niners team. They yeah. beat a Bucks team. Yep. So, and a battered Washington Redskins team. Mm -hmm. So now. They had Philly down 19 to 14 going to the fourth quarter yes. and lost that game. So, so are we going to, so are we going to just gloss over this one and seven? So we're just going to move past that, huh, Skip? This, this didn't happen. Come on. Come on, Giant. But you're going to find yourself, and guess what? You get off to a slow start again next year, mm -hmm. and they'll start by, oh, Eli's terrible. Mm -hmm. He'll win a few games. And guess what? In 2020, they'll be the same. Skip, it's hard to let go of a guy that's been so good for your franchise. He's won your Super Bowl. He made you prominent again. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to let that go. Yep. But Eli is who he is. Mm -hmm. Now, there's not a whole lot in free agency. Tyrod Taylor be a free agent. Teddy Bridgewater is a free agent. How much do you like the quarterback from Oregon? How much do you like the guy from uh, Auburn? How much do you like some of the guys coming out? But the Giants are going to be in the same position again next year this time. Talking about Skip. Mm -hmm. We should have gone in and got a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Eli is not going to, they're not, they're not going anywhere. I'm sorry with Eli. I feel sorry for New York Giants football fans. This guy will not go away. He will not leave you alone. He's Freddy Krueger. He's Jason, <laughs> Jason and Friday the 13th. He's Mike Myers. He just keeps haunting you because he's always just good enough that you say, well, maybe. But to your point, yeah, but look at this. Look at his overall QBR for this year. He ranks 26th in the NFL. But touchdowns, interceptions, 18 to 8. You say, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. And he's yeah, still Eli, right? Yeah, but the dude is 13 games in. He has 18 touchdowns. No. I really? With, with the way the league is set up for you to succeed today. Okay. You got 18 tubs. But your option is Kyle Laletta, or can, can you really get up to draft one of these kids? Or do you love one of these well, kids? Well, I'm it, not sure I love one of those kids all, you just all those, You got to get up. You're in the eighth spot. You, uh, you selected eight right now. Okay. You lose a game or two, you'll be in the top you, five again. You better, but knowing Eli, he's going to win oh, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to win out. You're probably and, right. And he's going to make you sit back and say, you know what? He's still Eli yeah. Manning. I know he's 38, but look what Brady's doing at 41. He beat Tom Brady twice. Yeah, and, and that's that's what that's everybody's it. Holding that's his on legacy. To, yes, and he yes. had two bursts, two playoff bursts, where they got hot and he got hot. Yeah. But look, but look at the overall body of work. And, and like you said, Skip, okay, yeah, he, for, for that, those Super Bowl runs, mm -hmm. he was as good as they had in the NFL. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, so, but he, it's, his career is more than two Super Bowls. Yeah, but he's royalty. He's Archie. He's Peyton. But he's Eli. At some point in time, Skip, they moved on from Tom Coughlin. Yeah. Even though he won some he, I mean, Tom Coughlin was the coach of those Super Bowl winning teams. And they moved on from Tom. Yep. Just because you win Super Bowl, unless you coach Belichick when you yep. win five. No, I know. You should have a lifetime contract. I, I just don't see an exit strategy here. It's, it seems like you're stuck. Well, you can move on, Skip. Yeah. You can. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be stuck in 2019, no, no, 2020? You are. I, I would agree. And we can move on because we only have a couple minutes left in the show. Coming up next is John Gruden. The Saints, a couple weeks ago Thursday night, gave them the extreme confidence moving forward for the remainder of the season and going into the playoffs. When you're a team that kind of stumbled all across or through the course of the season and then you start getting it going at the end of the season, you become one of the scariest teams entering the, play entering the playoffs. And when I see them offensively, what they can do, teams may not fear them or fear Dak Prescott mm -hmm. beating them with the passing game, but what they do fear is a guy on the outside that if he gets the ball in his hands, he can make a big play and he can be a game breaker and a game changer, and that is Amari Cooper. And so when you have that, you have the keys to success right there in your hands. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of making sure you get it done, and I think they have what it takes to get it done. Mm. Uh, it does not. I believe they can reach the divisional round of the playoffs. I believe it would be very, very difficult for them to get go to New Orleans and beat them in the championship game or go to the Rams and beat them in the championship game. So that means 
Seattle or maybe a Chicago, because they can still catch Chicago, Skip. Uh, Cowboys, theoretically, I believe, can get up to the number three seed. They could. So they'll have a home playoff game. Then they'll have to take their show on the road. Do I believe they could be, I think, beating New Orleans would be the more difficult of the two tasks? Because I believe the Cowboys playing in L.A. would be a home game for the Cowboys. But I think the Rams are a different team in the warm weather as opposed to what we saw mm-hmm. in Soldier Field in 16-degree weather on a Sunday night. The things that concern me, and this is what we know, a team that has an inconsistent quarterback will never get to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You can't do it, Skip. Because we saw what? Blake Bortles, inconsistent, couldn't get there. We saw Case Keenum last year. Just go back and look at it. No matter how good, it's hard for you to overcome the inconsistent. Because you know what happens if Dak Prescott turns that ball over three times against New Orleans? That's 45. Mm. Hung on you. Mm. You know that, I know that. You turn that ball over three times against the Rams in a championship game? That's 45, Mm. and it's over. By the way, Blake Bortles was up 20 to 10 at New England in the AFC title game last year. 20, 20 to, 10. to 10. But guess what? And he did not turn the ball over in the fourth quarter. And Just guess, for the record, and guess I don't you, think it was solely on Blake Bortles, though. But right? guess what you need? Play calling. Inconsistency. Maybe. Your quarterback's going to have to make a throw. So even if he doesn't turn it over, is he going to be able to make them throw? What about that one with 58 seconds? You said now he got to close that deal, 58 yep. seconds. What about that one to uh, uh, Michael Gallup? Hmm. Huh? Are you hung? You, you heard what I said. Well, you heard what I said. 17 of 20 in the fourth quarter in overtime Sunday for 243 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. Is that good? That's very good. That's great. That's, that's great. You turn the ball over three times, you won't uh, even get to the fourth quarter. Uh, okay. It'll be over. So, could this team reach the Super Bowl? You better believe it could because it has nuclear capability. One of these Sundays, my team is actually going to put it all together at once because that hasn't happened, except for maybe the one aberration game was Jacksonville. And Jacksonville was still pretty good. No, maybe, they maybe they were getting exposed, but they were still the number one defense when they rode into Texas Stadium or uh, Jerry World as a three, three and a half point favorite that day. And they got their doors blown off in the first half. It was 40 to 7 finally, but it was 24 to nothing at halftime. And I, that was without Amari Cooper. And you started to see the offense just went long drive, long drive, long drive, three touchdowns, and finally a field goal just before right. halftime. And you saw nuclear capability without Amari Cooper. Yeah, you also right? saw Jacksonville's defense capability of quitting. Okay, maybe they did. But my point is. One of these Sundays, it's all going to click together because it didn't click against Philadelphia because my quarterback turned it over three times and missed a couple of big throws. What if that's who he is? You keep saying maybe that's who, they're going to put it all together. Well, what if that's who he is? Was he turning the ball over? Did he turn over at Philly? Did that's, he turn over at Atlanta? Did he turn over against what Washington? About the, he's, not he a turn, not. he's not a high turnover no. quarterback. What about the accuracy? Hmm. I think it's – he boy, he trusts that number 19, doesn't he? He throws accurate balls to 19 okay. every time. Okay. I think when you right. get into the playoffs – no, I'm going to let you finish, Skip. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go for so, it. here's the point. Is this team capable of winning at the Rams? Well, again, we saw the Rams in the cold at Chicago, but, but they got exposed. Yeah. Jared Goff didn't exactly look like an MVP candidate to me, right? And right. Todd Gurley got shut down by a good defense – has the Rams have the Rams run into this kind of defense that Dallas has? Could Dallas travel and take that defense to the grass of the Coliseum and win a game? Sure, they could. They're, they're just they're that good because the offense can drive the football and keep the other offense off the field. Dallas now leads the NFL in time of possession. Why well, they is had that? the ball 45 the, minutes. The quarterback just keeps making a little play and a little play and a little play. Third down conversion. Third down conversion. He makes all those little plays. Maybe he misses some big ones, but he makes so many little ones that all of a sudden you say, we just don't have the ball. And this defense, I'm going to say this again, Drew Brees and his offense went three for 11 on third down. Carson Wentz, the best quarterback in the NFC, quote unquote, says the man across the NFC East. Went, went, uh, NFC East. One of nine on third down. One of nine? So you don't think this defense is shutting these, these really good quarterbacks down and out? So, so again... If it, if it all starts to come together, and I think this spread at Indy is just flat out wrong. Again, Vegas isn't buying Dallas. I'm buying Dallas to the point they should not be three-point underdogs at Andrew Luck. I don't care Shoot. how hot he is. He's going to have a hard time against this defense. He will not throw his usual party on this defense. 
Yeah. 300. I, I'll take it for a case straight up. I don't even need the points. Right now, one case. No. Nope. The, the one sure. thing that I would be concerned about if I am the Dallas Cowboys, move, if, if I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, going into the playoffs, the team that you play, they will take away what you do best. That is Amari Cooper. And so that means now all of a sudden, Dak Prescott, what we've seen him do when it comes to throwing to anyone other than Amari Cooper, mm -hmm. that has to elevate Michael Gallup, tight end play. One thing that I will say, though, that I love seeing is Ezekiel Elliott had 13 targets out of the backfield mm -hmm. receiving this past Sunday. Caught 12. 12. Caught 12 of them. If they can do that, and he is a dual threat where he's running the ball, and then he's their second option when it comes to passing the ball, they'll be just fine. Mm. And I'm going to throw this out there because you're going to laugh. Tavon Austin is almost back. He tore his groin. He is the icing on a baking cake, and he is really hot icing. Greg, you don't like cake, do hey. you? If Tavon Austin is the <laughs> cake, I, say, hey. I don't want that cake. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he can game break. No, he can't. He can run past people. Skip, you said you, that. You can, you can run jet sweeps with him, slot reverses with him. You can do all sorts of little big things with Tavon Austin. So don't underestimate. Remember I said okay. this. But here's the thing that should also concern you. Dak Prescott takes a lot of sacks. He takes a lot of hit. The Rams can get after your quarterback. Mm -hmm. New Orleans can get after your quarterback. Sure. Chicago can get after your mm -hmm. quarterback. Seattle, they dial up some pressure. So all the teams that you could possibly face, Skip Bayless, mm. can get after your quarterback and your guy. And what we've seen, when people get to your guy, look who. Mm. Ball comes out. Mm. Ball out. Mm. That's what they're yelling, Skip, from the sideline. <laughs> ball out. Mm -hmm. That's your guy. That's my guy. Okay. My guy's tough, too. Yeah! My guy's a warrior, and he can he, take hits. And, and he can and he, escape a lot of them, too. He can escape, too. and he can dish it out. He, he can make those people pay. Okay. He is hard. He is Roethlisberger-esque, trying to get him on the ground. He's 6'2", 245, or 50 to me. Mm -hmm. And he can run through a lot of sacks, and he can take a licking and then give it back to you. That's what I love about oh, Aaron this Donald, young Aaron man. Donald in the warm weather. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Ooh, Cam Jordan, those guys ranking. Then go get your quarterback skill. Mm -hmm. And you know what old Khalil Mack. Mm. Oh, Khalil Mack. Mm. And a key and, and a, a, a Hicks. Mm. <sighs> what do you think of my pass? I was I was you gonna like say that too, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What they do Sunday? Huh? The boy Carson Wentz was looking deer in headlights to me. He was just with Well, we about to see what they do on Andrew. <laughs> Oh, Andrew. What, what, where's Hurts? Where's 86? Oh, he's covered. What am I going to do? Like, I don't have my guy. security blanket. How many I got to throw it in the ground. How many times? I got to bounce it to him. How many times did he get your quarterback? <laughs> he went one for nine on third down. Did Carson Wentz? And you're a, telling me he's lot, the best quarterback in the NFL? A lot of it. A really? lot of it was there was no pressure. He just missed throws. Huh? I don't believe. I don't believe he's mentally healthy. Yeah. Physically, the knee. I mean, it's going to take. Skip. You know how it is. You normally take two full years to recover from a serious injury. He'll be just fine. You know what? Seriously, if Nick Foles had been the quarterback oh Sunday, God. I would have been a lot more worried. Stop. I would have been a lot more concerned. Skip, I, stop. I told you, Carson. Went, I just don't. I don't believe in him. Skip. I don't trust him. We, we, I never we've, been, we've been we on good. the same until, we, then. until then. Nick we, Foles, <laughs> you got the Super Bowl MVP standing on the sidelines, and don't think that's eating at his psyche. The Super Bowl MVP, well, guess the guy what? who played the two best playoff games of the year last well, year. Well, he'll get a chance. He's a, he'll be free. He'll get okay. a chance to go somewhere next year. Let's yeah. see how that work out for him. Okay. All right, Greg has to go. You got him excited talking about cake. When is the last time you ate a piece of cake? Uh, actually, actually, my daughter's birthday was just recently. Oh, I had a slice. okay. I had a cupcake. Oh, and don't. Nice. Cupcakes are the worst. <laughs> well, it's a little. What? I'm not a dessert. Person. I'm a slice of cake. Give me a slice. Yeah. Nice big old Live slice. Cakes are I noticed. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, oh, you got oh. jokes, huh? <laughs> Greg, thanks for joining us as always. Absolutely. How about LeBron and D. Wade remain friends through thick and mm. thin? Mm. They've broken up a couple times, but they got back together.